On January 27, 2020, India reported its first COVID case in the country. This was really the weekend when the world stood up and took notice of what's going on. And almost three years and over five lakh deaths later, the disease appears to have become endemic in India. So, what does it mean? Access to medical help. Epidemiologists say a disease is endemic when its presence becomes steady in a particular region, or at least predictable, as with seasonal flu. This means that the disease is still a pandemic at the global level, but the risk of a new severe outbreak in India is negligible. It's not just in India, but the disease arguably has become endemic in most European countries as well. In India, till mid-2022, there was a high chance that new COVID-19 patients, particularly those with partial or no vaccination shots, would develop moderate to severe forms of the disease. Now, even though new cases are being reported, the share of Indians requiring hospitalization has become almost negligible. Whether a disease has become endemic to a geographical region depends on a host of factors, including the population profile, natural infection rate, vaccination coverage, and the efficacy of the vaccine used. For instance, COVID-19 has not become endemic in China as the country has a low rate of natural immunity, used a vaccine with relatively lower efficacy, and has a larger unvaccinated elderly population. But in the United States, the problem is different, with low vaccine coverage due to its widespread anti-vaccination campaigns. I don't trust the vaccines, I never did. In 2022, a cumulative 651.76 million cases were reported globally till December 15th. This year saw at least 107 countries with the highest number of COVID-19 cases in a year since the outbreak began in 2020. The 2022 caseload for 86 of these countries was higher than the combined caseload for 2020 and 2021. In contrast, the year accounted for only 17.9% of the 6.6 .6 million deaths due to the disease. So even though the pandemic is still making its rounds, the data shows that it is time for us to be cautiously optimistic about living in a pandemic-free world again.